All right, hey guys, uh, welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is a Saturday Saturday night special for you. Um, I have decided to do a random love reading. Um, the top row of cards represents you in this situation, um, but remember people are fluid so you can flip-flop the characters in the story, and uh, the bottom row of cards is the other person. Um, again, this is a random love reading. I just feel so drawn to do it. Um, I've already pulled the cards. Uh, the major energy here, you guys, is the Three of Cups. So I love the Three of Cups because this is celebration, this is friends, this is party. Um, but I also always say to be weary because there's a lot of wine being spilled. So it may be that the situation was really fun. I don't know if there was a lot of substance to it or I think that maybe taking this relationship beyond just sort of the dating, the fun parts has been or will be quite difficult. Um, and I think that, you know, again, we have to be careful if there's drinking is a factor. All right. It can very much so affect, um, it can very much so affect relationships if, if alcohol is involved or a major factor. Underneath the Three of Cups here, we have the Seven of Wands, which comes right after the Six of Wands. So again, this is fire energy. It's Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries, and the Six of Wands is about victory and optimism. Uh, so maybe just being with this person and you know landing the date and things going well uh, was a real victory, but remember, the real hard part comes sort of maintaining that spark and developing a relationship. And this, this, uh, with a brief look at these cards, I'm getting that that is the major issue uh, between you guys. Um, again, Three of Cups, that's Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. So um, let's take a look here and see, though, what we've got. Um, we've got a little bit of everything. So in the top row here, we've got Judgment, and this card is pretty is pretty awesome. Uh, judgment is all about you know moving on to the next level. It's looking at everything that you've done and looking at everything you've done through an objective lens. Good things, bad things. We are where we are or where we need to be based on the decisions we've made and the actions we've taken. I'm getting that this person is feeling the heat. So this person may be you, that you were really feeling the heat. Maybe you wanted to move on to the next level and you had to do a lot of evaluation about this person. You know, is it just fun times or is there any substance to this relationship? And I get that that was, that is and or was quite an issue for you. And I think it was such a big issue and you were feeling so much heat that you really had to take some time out take some time out, evaluate, mm, you know, is this really what I want in my life? You know, writing that checklist, the pros and the cons, taking time to sort of um, you know, think about your past, think about people you've been with, the person you want to be with, the kind of life that you want, and sort of taking some time out, because I get that this was a really fun <laughs> relationship, a lot of going out, a lot of partying, you know, lots of nights on the town, you know, really great dates, but sometimes that can be quite exasperating, especially if you're working, um, you know, or you're raising a family, or if you're a single parent, you know, may, you might have some responsibilities that, I'm not saying you weren't being responsible, but, you know, I think it was quite tiring, or it might just be this situation, you just kind of feel a little bit drained, because you're not sure where this is going. And on taking some time out, that's really been a huge release for you. Um, you get to think about also your position, what you've done. Remember, nothing's ever one-sided. You know, every sword has two sides. And, you know, you have to be accountable for your actions. And you have to be accountable for your life. Ultimately, your happiness doesn't rest on somebody else. You are a part of this. And this is awesome. I mean, it's fun, it's celebration, etc., etc. But I think taking this time out has really afforded you a release. You've really let go some of your, you know, a lot of this tension. Um, it's all the things that were kind of bothering you. I think maybe you, when we first meet somebody, we want to do everything correctly and we want to, you know, make them, see, we want to make ourselves seem like, you know, Superman or Superwoman or super cool. And, you know, we can do this, we can do that. And, you know, maybe you're like, no, I actually need to focus on my family or I actually need to focus on my work. Can't focus so much on you or you can't be the center of my happiness. I've got to get myself right. And I think you've done that or you will do that and taking that time out is going to be really important to you. Now, excuse my language, because then I've got the four of 
um, I've got the Four of Cups here. And the Four of Cups, you know, in, in the upright is also taking time out, but it's kind of like when you've got your head in your ass. You know, you're kind of, you know, you're just really thinking about everything, but you're overthinking. You have too much time to overthink. Um, it's kind of like this luxury of overthinking and it kind of messes you up and gets you in your head. And I get that, you know, in the reverse, you're pulling your head out of your ass. You're seeing things for the way they are. You're not seeing things through rose-colored glasses. You're not over, you know, you're stopping to overthink things. Because I think with this judgment card coming out, you know, it was really tense. You were overthinking things and to a point where you needed to just sort of take a step back, reevaluate, you know, get yourself right. And again, excuse my language, but that's the only, only thing that's coming to my mind is get your head out of your ass. And you either will or you have. Now, this person, uh, Five of Pentacles, I think they see you as sort of a salvation. I think they see you guys as being able to work together to fight through everything. Okay, that would be in the upright. In the reverse, though, position, I'm getting that, you know, this person might actually be somebody who creates, makes your life a little bit harder. Even though it might be a really fun time, I'm not sure what they're bringing to the table. And I get that maybe they're not bringing a lot to the table or they're bringing a lot of baggage to the table. I get also when, you know, their reaction to you taking a step back or forcing them to really evaluate the situation and say, hey, where is this relationship going? I think you got to see some of their re some red flags come out. And this is the Knight of Swords. This is my narcissist card. And I think they reacted really negatively. They may have said something. They may have been really rude to you. I get that they were rude to you on the phone or they snapped at you or you saw them as like being really selfish. Maybe you said, hey, I need a moment. I need to step back and they just didn't like that and I get that you're sort of seeing that as a red flag and they're seeing the whole situation changing I think that they're trying to adapt to the situation um, but I think that they're not really well equipped to adapt to it even though the wheel of fortune card comes out in the upright I get that things can change very quickly and I get that this person is very moody and they might be a bit volatile. Okay, I'm getting that because we've got the Knight of uh, the Knight of Swords here, um, and then I've also got the Five of Cups. And the Five of Cups is disappointment. Normally, this person's kind of walking away, but I see this person just being one of those people who can't take no for an answer, or one of those people who takes everything so very personally, and they're taking your withdrawal as, as you know, as you slighting them, as you being against them. And I think this again is a real red flag that you need to watch out for. All right. So I'm just going to pull uh, an energy oracle card, some energy oracles to see what's going on between you guys or what will be going on between you. But I kind of feel like, you know, you have to evaluate the, you know, this person's behavior and their reactions because you having to take a step back isn't a bad thing. All right, but I think they're seeing it as a bad thing. All right, and here we're getting the sacral chakra coming out. All right, and the sacral chakra is I'm getting that there might be a lot of um, there might be a lot of sexual energy between you guys, um, but this is also like where you know you have a lot of your decision making and your stability, and it's really important that you guys have to you know it's really important that you guys do sort of figure out the foundation what what are the roots of this is it is it just a good time or can it be something more serious okay and you have to be really sensible and I think you are a sensible person here we've got light I get that you're sort of seeing the light uh, things are becoming really clear I think there's a lot of hope or there was a lot of hope I get that look at how very similar this looks to our judgment card as well like where is this going? I think you have to look look up and look see the future. What where what is this relationship all about? Where is it going? All right, and memories of love are coming out. Wow. Okay, so I think that I think that you're actually also looking to the past. Okay, and um and maybe maybe you're sort of you're looking at all the mistakes that you've made in the past and you're trying not to repeat them all right 
very interesting reading, you guys, uh, because I, I, it could be a karmic connection as well. It might be something that you've been involved with in a long time, for a long time. It might not be something that's new, okay? It, I don't, it might not be just, you know, oh, it's been a couple of weeks. You may be somebody that sort of you keep coming back to. All right. Mm. All right, so here it's saying it's safe for you to love, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. All right, interesting, very interesting. Okay, love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. All right, was I not saying that you taking this time out, all right, is really you loving yourself? And I think this person's having a hard time seeing that or understanding that. And again, I that for me, that's a red flag. I'm getting that you're seeing some red flags. And you may actually decide to go back to somebody that you were seeing before. And this might have just been sort of like a, a tryst that you're having because you might be in separation. All right, free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. All right, so I'm getting that. <laughs> yep, you need to. I, I that unfortunately, I don't think there's much substance to this relationship, and I think that this person is a bit of a narcissist, and that's something that you're really gonna have to, you know, pay attention to those red flags. Okay, that's gonna be really important for you. All right, I'm just gonna pull a few more oracle cards for you. Um, I get that you know you. It's safe for you to love, but I think it's also safe for you to love yourself first all right and that you felt safe and you opened your heart to this person but now you're sort of having second thoughts and you know you need to step away you need to free yourself I don't think this I don't think this relationship's really going anywhere all right no need to worry is coming out okay I don't think I don't think you have to worry about this person all right reconsider I'm getting that that might be having to do with somebody in the past, not this person. Okay, or just reconsider this relationship. I think you're starting to see the red flags here. And there's a big no that's coming out. So I would love to give you guys, um, you know, happy advice and say everything's going to work out. But Spirit is just saying, you know, everything's going to be fine. But I think you've already seen the red flags and, you know, you need to reconsider this relationship. It's come out a number of times. Love yourself first. Free yourself. Okay. Really take a look at what's going on. I think you have other things that are more important. Again, I don't think there's a lot of substance to this relationship. And I, and uh, Spirit is saying there's just not a, not a great future here. All right. So uh, again, I'm sorry. I wish the messages were a little bit different. But as one of my favorite readers, uh, Gemstone Tarot says, you know, you cannot glitter the turd. This is just what I'm getting. So if you like this, please hit like, share, and subscribe. And um, please leave me a comment. I'd love to see how this is playing out in your life. And uh, have a beautiful day. And I love you all. And I hope you enjoyed my Saturday night special.